What are the costs of running heat pumps? That's the question we'll be answering in this video today. We're going to cover the three factors that determine the running costs of a heat pump, how to calculate the running costs with a simple mathematical formula, how heat pumps compare against boilers, and much, much more. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more guides and advice on green energy technologies. And if you want to see more explainer videos from us, make sure you hit that like button down below. Let's get started, shall we? Before we get into the nitty gritty details of heat pump running costs, let's quickly address the elephant in the room. Contrary to popular belief, air source heat pumps are suitable for use on homes in the UK. The Energy Savings Trust ran field trials on a wide range of heat pumps to see if this was true. They found that well-designed and installed heat pumps can operate well in the UK. So there you have it. They do work in the UK and can be an effective green alternative to more traditional heating systems. Right, as promised, let's get down to the nitty gritty. There are three factors that determine the running costs of an air source heat pump. It's coefficient of performance, the property's heating requirements, and the ambient temperature outside. Let's quickly break these down. An air source heat pump's coefficient of performance is a number that defines how many units of heat in kilowatts it can produce from a single kilowatt of electricity. For example, a heat pump with a COP of 4 will produce 4 kilowatts of heat for every 1 kilowatt of electricity it receives. This effectively makes it 400% energy efficient. The higher a heat pump's coefficient of performance is, the more efficient it will be. Now, let's talk about the heating requirements of a property. This is essentially the temperature the water in your radiators or underfloor heating needs to reach in order to heat your home effectively. The majority of air source heat pumps are at their most efficient when providing water at a temperature of 50 degrees within a central heating system. However, many UK homes with older traditional radiators will have a heating requirement of at least 65 degrees. This means a heat pump will need to work harder and, as a result, its COP will go down. And the third and final factor that will affect the running costs of an air source heat pump is the ambient outdoor temperature. Because air source heat pumps create heat by passing air over pipes filled with liquid refrigerant, which then boils, the temperature of the ambient air outside plays a big factor in how efficiently a heat pump will run. If you want to find out more about how air source heat pumps work, we've made a full in-depth explanation in this video. While many heat pumps will still work at temperatures as low as minus 25 degrees, they will definitely not be running particularly efficiently. This is because more air will need to pass over the refrigerant before it meets its boiling point. Most air source heat pumps will run efficiently at temperatures as low as 7 degrees C. But Met Office data has previously shown that the average UK temperature from November to March is consistently below 7 degrees. In these winter months, it is likely that a heat pump's coefficient of performance would again be slightly lower, depending on how cold it gets. Now that we know what affects the running costs of an air source heat pump, let's get into how we actually work the running costs out. To predict the running costs of an air source heat pump, we have to use a reasonably simple mathematical equation. And don't worry, this is not rocket science. To calculate the annual running costs for an air source heat pump, we do the following. Take the average yearly heat requirement of the property in kilowatt hours. Divide the average yearly heat requirement by the heat pump's seasonal coefficient of performance. Take the resulting amount of kilowatt hours and multiply them by 18.9p, the average cost per kilowatt hour of electricity in 2021, according to Ofgem. For example, a small apartment or flat has an average annual heat requirement of 7,000 kilowatt hours. The average seasonal coefficient of performance for a heat pump in a property of this size is 3.65. So, we divide 7,000 by 3.65 and then multiply it by 18.9p and this gives us an annual running cost of £362.47p. For a slightly larger property, such as a terraced house, the average heat requirement for a year is 10,000 kilowatt hours and the average seasonal coefficient of performance for a heat pump would be 
When we run the same equation and multiply the kilowatt hours by 0.189 pounds, we get an average running cost of 572 pounds and 73p. Using the same formula, we can determine that the running costs for a heat pump in a three bed semi-detached house would be 708 pounds, 75p. And that for a large five bed detached house, the annual running costs of an air source heat pump would be 1,126 pounds and 73 pence. So we know how much a heat pump's running costs will be per year based on the size of your home. But how does this compare to other heating technologies? Any other heating options for your home will definitely not be as environmentally friendly as a heat pump. But it's still worth comparing the running costs. We will focus on one property size, a medium three bedroom home. And we will use the current off-gem price caps of 28 pence per kilowatt hour for electricity and seven pence for gas. The cost per kilowatt hour of oil in 2022 is around 12 pence, and for liquefied petroleum gas, it is about 10 pence. Okay, now that we set the rules, let's see how these different heating systems compare against each other. Round one. In the green corner, we have air source heat pumps. The new kid on the block when it comes to home heating, but it certainly packs a punch. Running on electricity at a price of 28 pence per kilowatt hour, these newcomers could seem like an expensive option. However, because of their exceptional efficiency of up to 400% or more, they are actually more cost effective than you might think. In fact, the annual running cost of an air source heat pump for a medium three bedroom property can be as little as 840 pounds. And this is only if you are paying the absolute maximum for electricity per kilowatt hour. The actual costs are likely to be much lower. And in the slightly less green corner, we have electric boilers. They run on the same power as air source heat pumps, but are not much of a contender when it comes to efficiency. Electric boilers have the same cost per kilowatt hour of 28 pence, but their level of efficiency only reaches a maximum of 100%. This leaves electric boilers with a huge annual running cost of 3,360 pounds. Electric boilers are clearly no match for an air source heat pump, this was just a little warm up. But what about their fossil fuel alternatives? Round two. In the not so green corner, we have oil boilers. Generally only chosen if there is not a connection to the gas grid available. The cost of oil per kilowatt hour is approximately 12 pence. These fossil fuel run units are a lot more efficient than they used to be, with some oil boilers managing 93% efficiency. Due to their relatively high efficiency, you can expect to pay £1,548 per year on heating your property with an oil boiler. Clearly, when it comes to running costs, air source heat pumps have landed a knockout blow on oil boilers. So, who's the next contender? Round three. Air source heat pumps have stayed in the ring and their statistics remain the same. But how will they fare against oil boilers leaner cousin, the LPG boiler? Liquefied petroleum gas is available at a slightly lower price of 10 pence per kilowatt hour. And LPG boilers can have efficiency levels of up to 94%. But are they cheaper to run than air source heat pumps? Even though they get closer than their oil powered cousins, LPG boilers still cost more to run with an annual running cost of 1,277 pounds. Air source heat pumps are doing well, but can they come through the final test against their most dangerous opponent, gas boilers? Final round. Gas boilers have been a mainstay in British homes for decades and have evolved along the way to ensure that they are the most cost effective choice. They have the lowest maximum cost per kilowatt hour of seven pence with actual gas prices generally being a bit cheaper. New condensing gas boilers are capable of reaching efficiency levels as high as 97%. But do these low cost and high efficiency numbers help them to beat the running costs of air source heat pumps? The annual running cost of a new gas boiler is 866 pounds per year. When we use the maximum price cap of 7p per kilowatt hour, actual running costs will likely be lower. Even though gas boilers put up a good fight, and it was a close contest, air source heat pumps have defeated all of the heating alternatives when it comes to annual running costs. However, they have only narrowly beaten gas boilers on a points decision of £26. 
and depending on energy prices, there may be a rematch required in the future. What we can say for now is that when it comes to running costs, air source heat pumps are the most cost-effective heating appliances on the market. And don't forget, they're better for the environment too. If you want to see more helpful videos about green heating systems, or you just want to see more head-to-head matchups, please leave a like on this video. And make sure you don't miss any of our new videos. Hit the subscribe button too.